hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in today's video we will be discussing data cleaning in python we will be using the pandas library and in this video i will be discussing six very important inbuilt functions that you should be knowing if you want to master data cleaning in pandas so first off what is data cleaning data cleaning is the process of fixing or removing errors inconsistencies and other issues from data sets so that they can be used for analysis and machine learning so as you already know if we want to perform any data analysis or any machine learning algorithms or anything of that sort we need to have some data and our data needs to be clean we cannot have inconsistent data or or a lot of nulls or duplicate values we need to clean it and that process is known as data cleaning it is also known as data cleansing or data scrubbing there are various tools that you can use to clean your data but in today's video i will be discussing some inbuilt pandas functions so the first one is drop underscore duplicates this function is used to drop duplicates if your data has a lot of duplicate values you can use this function so customers is the data frame name so data frame name dot drop underscore duplicates subset is equal to whatever is the column name that that has duplicate values so you will write the column name over here keep is equal to first which means if there are three four duplicates in the column email we will only keep the first record and the rest all will be dropped as the name of the function suggests third parameter is in place is equal to true true or false which means if in place is equal to true it means that we will be making changes in the very same data frame so the changes these changes the duplicates will be dropped in the same data frame customers now let's move on to the second function which is for dropping missing data or nulls so of course you want to find a lot of null values in your data so in that case we can use the function drop any so students again is the data frame name so students dot drop any subset is equal to name so subset is equal to the column name which has nulls and you need to remove nulls from that column so subset is equal to the column name in place is equal to true which means do you need the nulls to be dropped from the same data frame if yes then it will be true otherwise false in what scenarios will it be false it will be false in scenarios where you actually need the student's data frame to have the original values also you need to retain it as well so you will create a new data frame in that case you will have in place is equal to false third is modify columns now if you want to change or modify columns in in your data what you can do is simply let's say employees is the data frame name and salary is the column you want to multiply that column by 2 so all you need to do is employees salary is equal to employees salary into 2 that's it and whatever modification you want to make you can make similarly like equal to and whatever calculation you need to add you can do that number 4 rename columns there are going to be scenarios where you want to rename your columns into simpler or more understandable names in that case what you can do is you can write let's say your data frame name is students so students is equal to students dot rename the inbuilt function name is rename students dot rename and then we write columns over here curly bracket and whatever columns whatever existing columns column names are there you will write like this colon the new name so id colon student underscore id so if you want to rename id to student id this is what you will do first colon first underscore name last colon last underscore name so whenever you need to rename your columns to better names or more understandable names you can do this age colon age in years and you can write these in inverted comma number 5th is change data type there can be scenarios where you need to change the data type of a particular column so what you can do is students again is the data frame name is equal to students dot as type 
this is the inbuilt function that you can use to change the data type bracket curly brackets grade grade is the column where you need to change the data type colon whatever data type you need to change it to so colon int in this case i want to change the data type to int you can change it to anything boolean string whatever in this case i am changing it to int number six fill null values there are going to be a lot of null values in your data and you might want to replace it with a default value or zero or anything so in that case we will be using the inbuilt function fill any so products again is the data frame name products quantity quantity is the column column in the data frame products so products products bracket quantity dot fill any and what do you need to fill it with what are you going to fill the null values with what are you going to replace the null values with zero so fill any zero comma in place is equal to true which means the changes will be made in the same data frame and not a new data frame so these are the six most used functions for data cleaning in pandas i hope this video was clear i also have separate videos for each of these functions so make sure you check it out i have also solved a lot of python lead code problems so check that out as well that can help you in mastering python even better and with that i will end the video i hope this video was helpful and if this video was helpful make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching